hello everyone and welcome to this weekly vlog if you are new around here my name is Gemma uh, I just decided that I wanted to pick up my camera and vlog this week I definitely want to do more vlogs as we go into autumn that was my mindset the thought process anyway so it's Tuesday today uh yesterday I just had like an admin boring day at home nothing really that interesting to report uh but this week I've got a few things going on so I'm going to take you along with me I'm actually off out now to go and meet Sophie to shoot it's raining, we're meant to shoot outside, but we're gonna go, I think, to the Tate. And I've actually never shot inside the Tate before, so hopefully we'll get some really nice content. I'll bring you along with me, but I really hope you enjoy my weekly vlog, guys. So guys, you asked me to be real with you and share real life, and this is my changing room for the afternoon. My hair has literally gone so frizzy, it's like really spitting. Um, so this is my outfit I'm changing. This is my little changing station. We've got here these shoes. I've had to walk around with my heels literally on here because they are rubbing my feet. So I'm so glad to get these off and change into my converse. Also, oh, I'm reading this book and I'm not really enjoying it. So if you've read it, let me know what your thoughts are on it. But yeah, I actually can't wait to finish it because... <laughs> want it to be over we have come to Olenstein I have got an iced oat latte with vanilla syrup and so is dipping her <laughs> cinnamon social cinnamon social yeah cinnamon social. into a coffee. her coffee I got one as well it's really really good look at that today has just been an epic epic write-off as you can see I've got my umbrella here uh, it's just not stopped raining and I went to Olenstein and definitely the iced coffee that I ordered was made with cow's milk um, so I'm probably going to go home and poo my pants absolutely love that for me uh, they did make a replacement um, but I already feel quite sick so not good but um, yeah so full of soap gone back to get the bus now I'm going to get the tube because we can't shoot in this it's not good very productive day not it's been such a write-off today so yeah you know when you just feel like you put on your makeup and it's just been a waste basically i am at home now and the lighting is whoa <laughs> that is the fridge lighting it's shocking i'm actually starving so i am gonna put something in the microwave i actually i'll show you have a discount code rns meals reached out to me and asked if i wanted to try some of their meals they're basically a meal subscription service it's family run uh, they do like meat options gluten-free options or vegan options this is what the packaging looks like I had chicken shawarma for dinner last night and it was so so good so yeah i wanted to just let you know if like me like in the evenings like now i couldn't think of anything worse than cooking it is raining so hard outside it's been raining all day today i don't know if you can actually hear it so yeah i'm gonna take off my makeup get into bed maybe watch something on netflix actually let me know down below your netflix recommendations because i feel like we've reached that time of year now where it's cozy autumn vibes and we're just going to be at home hibernating with hot chocolates and watching netflix so yeah let me know i think this is the one i'm going to go for so yeah rns meals and this one is jerk chicken rice peas and plantain and then you've got your macros on there so 477 calories uh not that i'm that bothered about the calories to be honest and you've got your carbs fat and 45.3 grams of protein. I really have not drunk enough water today. Oh my God, I'm so thirsty. Um, these glasses, by the way, I got from Amazon. Look how cute they are. I literally love them and they look so good when I have iced coffees and a metal straw. Mm. Your reminder to drink more water just a little idea of what the meals look like i've got some other ones in the fridge as well i'll probably show you those throughout the course of the week but um i'm so excited to 
try this so i completely lost the presentation and um yeah the packaging is fully recyclable so in we go i can confirm that dinner was delicious it was actually way better than the chicken shawarma i had last night oh my god you know when something's so good that you just want it over all over again wow okay i'm gonna take my makeup off now um probably catch you in the morning i've got a andal stories press appointment tomorrow and also an orthodontist appointment um so yeah good night guys good morning so it is wednesday today i'm in a rush i mean nothing's new i'm going to an and other stories press appointment today uh well this morning and then i need to take some back to zara i actually see if they've got a different size and then i've got an orthodontist appointment later so yeah i am in a rush i'll show you my outfit um but i just want to say good morning and i'll take you along to my press appointment hopefully and other stories have some really nice pieces in for autumn they did last time i went but it was still like 26 27 and trying on knitwear when we had a heat wave was just it was not the one feeling today is going to be a good day and also there's going to be some nice autumn pieces so this is my breakfast this morning 10 10 for presentation guys but i used these free from oats i just get these from fresco i find it's better for my stomach when i don't have gluten oats and then i added this protein shake it's actually vegan it's so nice if you want to try it this one's vanilla um and it's supposed to have like 26 vitamins um gut bacteria um i topped it with some chia seeds and i picked up this peanut butter from aldi it's really low on the ingredients list it's literally peanuts apparently um and it tastes really really good so yeah aldi i do usually get the pippa nut one um, but this one was so much cheaper i would usually put some berries on this but i've run out so big dollop of peanut butter chia seeds vanilla vegan protein and yeah i'm gonna enjoy it believe it or not so guys as you can see i've just got two and other stories and this is my outfit today um this blazer is actually and other stories a striped long sleeve top which i've tucked in to this black skirt is zara i think this is h&m and then i've got my trusty cowboy boots on so excuse the bra and white socks but i've got these black trousers on which actually are really really nice um you've got belt loopholes and they're like straight with a little bit of a wide leg but not too wide really really like these so i had to do a voiceover because it was so noisy in the fitting room but i picked up this blazer it's like a wall blend i did size up one size but it is so gorgeous i love it here with these black trousers but i do not need this jumper in another color i already have it in like three colors but i saw these trousers and i really like the look of them for every day the only thing is i'm not too keen on that slit on the side uh, but i wanted to include them because they might be a good work option for some of you so these jeans are called the favorite cut and they're actually so nice on i love this whole look together like winter whites hot chocolate in hand yeah i literally love this so this jumper is the mock neck sweater i think it's 35 pounds i have it literally in like six colors um and i love this i'm thinking with trainers or birkenstocks and a trench coat layered over the top definitely more of a neutral outfit but these jeans they fit like a dream i'm telling you they're so comfy i loved this striped jumper it's just the perfect amount of oversized and it looks so nice with these white jeans and it was also really soft i loved this little outfit this cable knit jumper was so soft and i love that it's cropped the cable knit is just so nice and then i tried it on with these chocolate brown trousers which are just so cute for autumn i mean you've got to give it to Andrew for stories they know how to do tailored trousers and i love these i actually don't have a camel pair in my wardrobe either like the fit is just 10 10 for me the color 10 10 and yeah the fit is just fantastic i love them for autumn <laughs> back 
home now and I thought I'd show you the bits that I picked up from and other stories. I went for real wardrobe capsule pieces uh, because I am trying to make my wardrobe way more capsule. So I got these jeans. The cut is a favourite cut. Honestly, these are amazing. I love them. I don't know if I actually showed those on. And these are just like camel trousers they look so good on as well and then i got a black pair of trousers so i feel like i'm gonna get so much wear out of all of these for autumn so guys i'm back from the supermarket now you don't even want to see what i'm balancing my camera on it's my velvetizer and the mini tripod like it's gonna fall any minute i know it uh so yeah my bag for life i'm actually loving this bag for life got it randomly when i did an order they had like a I think it was like spend 25 pounds get 15 pounds off i was like hell yeah i'm gonna do my weekly shop um but i picked up some dupes in audi they are coming in hot with the dupes so i got this which i think is a dupe for the elizabeth arden eight hour cream which i use all the time but this one looks like a mini version so actually might be more handbag friendly and oh no i think it got a bit squashed i got this which I think is a dupe for the Laura Mercier, you know, the bath, um, like honey oil thing. I think it's actually got one of the, yeah, like the little wooden stirrers. Uh, and that is what it looks like. So yeah, it's vanilla honey, golden bath, nectar. <gasps> Look how nice that is. Oh my God. I think this was $4.99, $5.99, all was super, super reasonable. And I got this, which is the CC Cream Glowing Base uh, in shade Peach. But I think this is a dupe for the By Terry, is it the correcting? I don't know, it's like the Glowy Serum. I've never actually tried it, so I can't really compare, but pick that up, I think that was $4.99. Um, I'm sure I got something else as well here. Uh, collagen lip oil so I think that's supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one um, and I'll show you what I picked up as well so I got some rye bread some dairy milk chocolate fingers because I do have a sweet tooth and I need to have something sweet for dessert I love like dunking those in with a cup of tea um, I'm on the quest to basically find an oat milk that doesn't contain gums oils it's just loads of crap when you look on the back of all of them i was literally just in tesco's turning all of the oat milks around and they've either got like rapeseed oil sunflower oil gums loads of sugar and i'm really really struggling so i found this as an alternative it's almond milk i don't actually really like almond milk in my coffee i just think i love the taste of oatly barista it's just so creamy so i picked this one up it's the plenish one um and the ingredients list is actually really small it's just spring water organic almonds and sea salt um but let me know down below in the comments what oat milk you're drinking that isn't oatly that isn't full of crap um and then i just got uh some raspberries and blueberries to have on my porridge tender stem broccoli Hadron peppers, I love these. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is roast them with like sea salt, <sighs> love. Uh, I've got some smoked salmon because for lunch today, I've had a protein shake for breakfast uh, because I was actually meant to go to the supermarket this morning and it just didn't happen. So I think for lunch, I'm gonna have rye bread, eggs, avocado and salmon. Like what a millennial lunch or brunch, shall I say avocado very millennial and then i got some sweet potato because i think for dinner i'm gonna have chicken veg and sweet potato very boring i know i need to get a life but i actually really love it and um a lime to squeeze into my avo so guys call me crazy but today i'm gonna attempt i'm gonna slowly start because usually it's quite a big job uh to do my wardrobe refresh switch over because on my walk to the supermarket it was actually quite chilly i could have done with a trench coat over the top of this so i think the time is coming yes. it's been really touch and go you step out your house you're like do I need to go back for a jacket? Do I need to take off my jumper and put on a t-shirt? I know this is a no judgment zone. 
but guys i still actually need to get handles for this wardrobe because the struggle is real every day but look like <laughs> this is actual chaos like chaos i mean this is chaos so yeah this is all very summery so this is going to go probably under my bed i mean i need to sort through this because i don't need one two three four five pairs of blue denim jeans um so i'm going to start sorting through that in here i've got some knitwear but then i've also got like very summery bits um denim shorts so they can go away so i think what i'm gonna do is what i usually do when i do my wardrobe clear outs might be helpful for you guys or might not i do a keep pile and i basically just switch out what i've got under my bed in bags with zips i'll show you i think they're from ikea actually uh, so I do like a swap over of stuff that I feel like I will wear next year. So I put that, tuck it away, out of sight, out of mind, under my bed. And then I do a sell pile and a charity pile. Um, so that is basically what I'm going to do. I feel like it makes it so much easier. And as I'm on the quest to make my wardrobe more capsule, or just in general, I feel that the clear outs are taking me less and less time because I've got less and less stuff that makes sense you guys keep or toss no not even toss keep or sell i only actually wore this once but it is really gorgeous it's a gorgeous print i think i'm gonna have to keep her she's from h&m by the way so keep the hangers and then we're gonna pop this in a little pile on my bed this goes without saying it's definitely a keep i don't wear her a lot but i took her to mexico i just I love her she's from Zara and she's just so summery so yeah defo keep so I love this but I only wore it once this summer once or twice um it's just like an ASOS linen blend skirt so I think this is gonna go in the cell pile because usually I do this with Poppy and she is ruthless uh and she'd be like if you only wore it once or twice you need to sell it or give it to charity so yeah this is gonna go in a separate pile very cute keep actually i'm thinking i might keep this in my wardrobe because i could actually wear this on a night out with like a black bodysuit and a black blazer um even though it is quite bright so i think i'm gonna keep this in there for a bit of color i was in oxford street yesterday and every time i walk past top shop it's just i used to work there in personal shopping and the fact that the space just hasn't been filled I always just get so sad and it just reminded me because every time I bought like jeans, skirts, trousers, I always used to ask for the trouser hangers. It was like a meeting spot. Where where should we meet in Oxford Circus? Out to, outside the big top shop. I am obsessed with green. I've got green, 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 green. I love it. Also, I'm listening to the Receipts podcast. I've been so bad at catching up with their episodes. I used to make sure every Wednesday, whatever I was doing, I would tune in and listen. And I've just gone through now and I've got so many episodes to catch up on. And so I'm just listening to that now because I have actually been listening to... Um, the Mindset Mentor, I think it is, on on Spotify, which I really, really like. So I've had a little break for lunch, and this probably is the most millennial dish you ever did see. So that's the rye bread I got from M&S, poached egg, smoked salmon, and avo. I need to show you <laughs> what it's looking like. This is utter carnage. Like, look how many hangers there are here. But... These are the bags that I use. They're just from Ikea and they zip up so they keep any like dust or like spiders away. Um, so yeah, I put my summer stuff in here. I've got one on the floor over there. Um, but these are really good, especially if you don't have much space, you can kind of like really flatten them down and put them onto your bed. So we have just finished our workout and I wanted to show you these legging. Well, I've got the legging version. They're the scrunch bum. How do you do that? Tiff teaches me how to do these. <laughs> is it which leg is it? No, it's that, isn't it? 
you know, when you do the Instagram pose. But I've got the leggings and then Tiff's got the shorts. I actually love the color of these, so the pink ones. And we have them in like every color and they actually make your bum look delicious. But yeah, I'm surprised we're not matching today, to be I honest. Know. We're always matching. We're gonna go to Starbucks. I have been a terrible vlogger. I didn't vlog yesterday, but I was having like a life admin day at home filming some content i sold some bits on vintage as well so i went and posted those returned a book to the library <laughs> um, and we are now leaving the gym we had a really good session didn't we yes you're like Loved glowing it. over there Hello. glowing princess <laughs> <laughs> uh, we trained legs and i have literally been thinking about a starbucks since we got into the gym i'm gonna get a starbucks now because actually in pearly that's where the kings is there aren't really any good like coffee shops and i just no. saw a starbucks in like an industrial like park where there's like an Audi and a random I think like toy shop or something. It's like Starbucks. I'll probably just end up going for a brown oat sugar shaken Ooh. espresso. I haven't had one of those in ages. Um we're not sure whether we're feeling iced coffee yeah. or hot. Well Tiff's in shorts and I'm in leggings because it actually feels really like autumn, doesn't it? In yeah. the past couple of days, overnight it's just turned really cold. Not gonna complain. No. <laughs> not gonna complain because we've had an amazing summer. Summer, but I am really ready for autumn I think but I put on leggings um, and I'm really warm I'm actually really really warm so that's why I'm thinking I might get an iced okay yeah I'm in and we were discussing in the gym I mean we just tend to talk way too much <laughs> but in between sets we were like shall we go out tonight <laughs> <laughs> my vote is yes oh um, the dilemma is we're getting to the age where excuse me okay, i'm getting to the age where i really want to go out but i really really don't want a long hangover we went out last weekend actually and um i think we were messaging in the week being like well, on wednesday we're still tired uh which isn't ideal and i've actually got a dinner uh, not dinner sorry lunch with my dad and grandma tomorrow and tiff wants to train at the gym and uh, unless she's actually dragging me out of bed it's not gonna no happen i don't think i'm not i'm not a good hungover i just want to eat crap and definitely not go to the gym so i don't know but it's a bank holiday i know it's a bank holiday and also we were having this discussion i feel like people are very mixed about obviously the queen the queen's death and the funeral on monday like is it disrespectful to go out or like to make the most of the bank holiday yeah. by doing something that isn't kind of a very wholesome thing to do yeah so we don't know and also money tan. um tan. yeah i'm literally as white as a sheet uh, <laughs> that mexico tan does not last through autumn no i haven't fake tanned for months and months and months and i feel like i need to scrub and maybe do an instant so tbc on going out so we waited a long time for this coffee and I went a bit rogue. So I got a, oh brilliant, so they spelt my name with a J. Honestly, nobody in Starbucks can spell my name right. They did not understand the assignment. Yes, so I got a venti iced blonde salted maple and caramel latte. Three blonde roast, so shots of coffee I'm going to be flying with oat milk and i have had a sip already it is delicious it's very sweet so i probably should have got three pumps instead of five <laughs> and that wasn't sugar-free either and i got a banana bread in here i think tiff got tiffany does it say tiffany yeah good a, a venti iced latte <laughs> three shots of espresso signature espresso they didn't ask me what espresso i wanted um and four pumps of sugar-free hazelnut syrup so we are gonna be but i asked for caramel <laughs> oh yeah it was honestly a bit of a shit show in there it was awful someone was eating beans on toast <laughs> I know, they literally waited so long, they actually went next door, bought some beans and just put it on some bread. But how did like, they eat that up? I don't know. It's very cold beans. <laughs> and I asked for a uh, the banana bread to be heated up and I've ended up just getting the cold one. <laughs> they're yeah, a mess. They're a mess. Gosh, the light is 
really shining through my bedroom window. Uh, I just stopped off at Tesco because it was my dad's birthday yesterday and I am meeting my dad and my grandma for lunch tomorrow. Whew, I feel out of breath when coming up the stairs. I got a card from my dad in Tesco and my dad and I and actually my grandma, so my dad's mum, um, have quite a dry sense of humour and um, I'll show you the card that I got him because it's actually hilarious. This is the card that I got for my dad, look, if only. <laughs> oh, I know a lot of you probably wouldn't give your dad a card like this, but I think my dad is going to find it very funny, so yeah. And I've also come home to a very exciting parcel from Warehouse. This was what was in the parcel, so we've got this beautiful faux leather blazer. I love the colour of this, it's such a nice neutral shade. And this coat, which is insane. Um, I actually saw this at the gifting suite and they didn't have it in my size and it's like this gorgeous green and blue. And I got two slip skirts, so a black one and this champagne colour. So I will do a try on haul, but yeah, they feel so nice. I literally cannot wait to shoot this and wear this. It looks so warm. Let me turn this off, but I'm going to have a bit of me time. This is my new book that I'm reading. I finished the other one, finally. I actually got this from Streatham Library. And this was the Bath Honey, which is basically a dupe for the Laura Mercier. Um, and it even comes with the little honey stirrer. So I'm gonna pop that in the bath and I will let you know how it is. But I've got my little exfoliating mitt here, which I'm gonna use to just scrub the little bits of fake tan. You can see me off my body hopefully i'll be feeling like a dolphin in no time um but yeah a little bit of me time I realized I didn't film an outro so I'm gonna end the vlog here I really really hope that you have enjoyed my weekly vlog and after my bath I was out for the count so definitely decided not to go on a night out uh, but yeah I really hope that you have enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching if you are new around here I'd absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button down there somewhere and I hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're up to and I will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye